We're at this club here in downtown Enid, and uh, my guest now is the president of the Kiwanis Club, uh, Gerald Gilbert, and Gerald also doubles as the chief financial officer for the city of Enid. Gerald, right off the bat, when you have a speaker like, uh, you know, the superintendent of education, Janet Barisi, to come to your club, what does it mean to your club? Well, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a great opportunity to come out and hear about events that affect us not only in Enid, Oklahoma, but statewide. And it's just quite an honor to have someone of her stature to come and talk to the club today. So I, I appreciate that. I think it educates all of us and makes us better citizens here in the city so that as members of the service club, it's, it's great for us to go out and, and help Enid continue in the positive upward direction that we all know we're going in. I'm quite sure many of the community and surrounding communities very familiar with the train and Kiwanis. Tell us a little bit really what the Kiwanis is all about here in your club here in, in Enid, Oklahoma. Kiwanis is all about uh, kids uh, doing things for the children in the community and, and really in the community at, at large. So we do, uh, we run the Kiwana train, uh, we do that with the proceeds, we do that as a service, the proceeds we get. We donate to various clubs, we donate to the YMCA, we donate to other uh, cl clubs, we, uh, we donate to uh, scholarships for or our students, sophomores, um, primarily, and um, so so all the proceeds that we gather, we we, we reinvest in the community and the children of the community. And membership to Kiwanis is open to the public, right? It is, and I'd like to invite anybody that uh, sees this or that is interested in service to the community, come on out, try us out. Come on out every second uh, and fourth uh, Wednesday at Convention Hall. Uh, we'll buy your lunch and see what we're all about. Lunch is involved. I'm, I'm, I'm interested. Speaking of proceeds, as the chief financial officer for the city of Enid, give us a snapshot or overall uh, a uh, grade a report card, if you will, of our finances. Can you do that? Uh, the city's finances are in good shape. Sales taxes are up about 5%. Our utilities are, are, are holding steady and, and up a little bit, too. So uh, I think the revenues of the city are good. Uh, anybody can look around and see the great progress in the city, even in this building that we're talking in right now. We've invested tens of millions of dollars in, in the city. New sewer plant, uh, new downtown, new streets, new water towers. It goes on and on. Good things happen in Enid. That's our Chief Financial Officer for the City of Enid, Gerald Gilbert.